Well, look who it is. It's Josh Rawlings. Why, hello. Piano player from the JPQ. <laughs> hey, man, we're leaving for tour in less than 48 hours. Oh, man. I'm just so pumped up. First ever road trip tour. Yeah, man. Feels great. It's going to be pretty sweet. We just got through with our rehearsal, put some new tunes in the book. Yeah. We dusted off some old tunes. Indeed. And... Uh, I like the new tunes, by the way. Right on, right on. We're going to be cool. debuting a couple of surprises on the tour. Indeed. You'll have to come see us to figure out what that is. But, uh, I was just telling Jason, too, that uh, um, that the music will uh, definitely take a life of its own, you know, grow over over the course of the tour, which is really exciting. Yeah. In, its, in of itself, just we'll have all these new experiences, meet all these new people, Maybe spreading the good good word of the music that we love, and uh, and the music will certainly take a life of its own while we visit each place. Yeah, it's not often when we're home that we get to play tunes every night, yeah. you know, and in a in a in a concert setting because it's yeah. really when you got an audience in front of you and you're on stage, it's definitely very different than when you're playing in the basement. So exactly. it'll be cool to see what kind of life these tunes take we don't know it's exciting yeah we'll it's, find out it's all it's all up in the all up in the air right now you know who is anybody going to show up uh, is the is the car going to make it is the, you know, <laughs> is the money going to make it are we going to have to sleep on the street you know like it's <laughs> Uh, you've been on tour before, but this is this is the first time I've ever done road trips, and you know you hear all these horror stories, but I'm I'm just really I'm just excited and thinking about all the positives and yeah. thinking that you know we're the good things that we're gonna do by just spreading the 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 music vibe of Seattle, you know, in other places I think is is so important. I I don't think Pearl Jam or Nirvana, any of the bands that that had such a staple in the back in the day in the grunge and even earlier you know music scenes like the Jackson Street like none of those groups probably would have been known had they not traveled out so that's that's the promise of touring down the road it's just it's like here we are doing it again ourselves yeah. in the you know the 21st century a lot of things have changed economics of putting this whole thing together the one thing that hasn't changed is the energy that comes from being able to just transmit the music to a whole new crowd of people yeah. while representing that that sound, if you will, that was born kind of here yeah. and now. So it's how, very cool. How do you, uh, can you put that sound into words? Like what's, like what is it about the music that's being played in Seattle that's really... I you... think there's just a, a fresh, new, uh, passionate and um, devote, devotional... Um, vigor in the music that uh, is reminiscent of things that we hear, you know, musicians doing on the East Coast and, um, and you know, some of our favorite uh, jazz artists that are playing nationally from Brad Meldow to Brian Blade and everybody in between. And I think that there is um, just a, a real and an honest collaborative thing going on here that uh, to me it's very reminiscent from from what I've read about the history of how music kind of formed the jazz music formed in New Orleans it feels very reminiscent of that blending hip-hop and rock and mm -hmm. you know you hear all sorts of musicians all over the world doing that uh, I think Seattle has a really unique vibe you know just with this whole grunge thing it's like jazz is, is brewing out of that that grunge grit and bringing the the sweetness of of the the colors you know that can be explored and and through through the means of improvisation you know yeah. and so jazz therefore is just our way of like bringing all the things that we love about music here in Seattle from grunge to classical to hip hop to rock bringing it all together and uh, experiencing it through that vehicle that we call so-called jazz, you know? Right, right, so, right. In so many words. I, I don't know if there's a simple way to, to say it, you know, like a, a Cliff Notes version of really explaining what's happening. You, you almost just have to experience it for yourself. Um, and that's why we're bringing it out on the road. I mean, maybe, maybe the promise of 
going on the road is so that we actually find out a little bit from outside viewers that have maybe never been exposed to our way of playing. There will be things that they recognize. There will be things that they may not recognize in terms of the stylistic things. and you know Everybody's vastly different, but I think it's possible that our audience might actually let us know right. what we're doing you know <laughs> yeah. I mean a lot of a lot of bands I think uh, you know just start out doing what they love and then it gets defined by people like critics and you know and audience members and there'll be all sorts of new things that come up from our interactions with people so it'll certainly we'll certainly get new terminology mm -hmm. and ways to and and fresh perspectives on how to look back at what we're doing you know yeah. so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how people react to the music, and I think it'll also be interesting to see how people react to the passion that we bring to the act of making the music. Because yeah. I think that's you know, Indeed. to me, that's something that um, that I see happening more and more these days. And I don't, I, it's happening here in Seattle. I'm not sure. You know, who knows if it's happening in Berkeley and Bakersfield and yeah. San Diego? So we'll see when we start hooting and hollering on stage. We'll see. I people. know. I know pr probably we've had similar experiences when, when you've been out on tour with other bands, but just from my experience, just even hitting a few cities, not taking huge road trips, it does feel like we're bringing something new, you know, something that they haven't heard. Um, you know, when, when I played in Savannah, it was just like, you know, the kids were just, you know, they're, they're, they're growing up on all the popular music just like everybody else. So when they hear a jazz band that's playing something that sounds like it's from the popular genre or playing music that they that they know of but playing it more instrumental in a different way it perks their ears it's a you know it, they, they, they make a connection and they I, I've, I've only been met with audiences so far that have really really enjoyed what we do yeah. so to continue getting out of Seattle and, and continuing to live here too it's just a it's a beautiful exchange and it just seems like it's going to keep getting richer and richer the more that we venture out and and uh it's that it's that authenticity and realness and in the love and what we do that just um uh, ripples like ocean waves all around the world yeah. so <laughs> or at least up and down the west coast yeah at least up and down the west coast <laughs> uh, i i might have to pull jason's uh you know pull jason's uh arm to to let me go surfing at some point on the trip you gonna we're gonna put I the mean, surfboard in the we, van is that what we're no, gonna do i i mean no, there's a room on the top that's all i'm saying i mean I, piano I have, surfboard i have ropes and uh cables and uh and, and I'll, I'll i'll just live you know in the surfboard bag you know, that's, that's right. where i'll sleep no uh yeah i i learned my lesson from bringing too much gear on the road on a on a short road trip out the Spokane. <laughs> previous JPQ tour. <laughs> we needn't uh, mention that. So, anyways, yeah, I would. When we're in San Diego, I would. I'm sure we'll have plenty of ocean. Yeah. Time. Indeed. I'm really excited to see you know what would, uh, what sort of experiences we have just hanging out as a band, mm -hmm. and on our off days, like what what sort of mischief we're gonna get into. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna be a safe and fun tour, and it's uh, we're gonna have a great time. Yeah. Thanks, Jason. <laughs>